Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My background might look a little different and that's because I am in my wig studio today. I thought it would be a great idea to tell you guys a little bit more about my business, the backstory, reasons why I started it and also a bit of an update as to how it's going currently. We take wigs that look like this. I know, right? Look at her. She's, she's dying inside. There's no heartbeat there. And we turn it into this. So this is where we take your old wigs, your worn out wigs, and we give it a new life. So if you have a wig that currently is a little bit dead, like you look at that wig and there's no life. It's not breathing. I've always known that I want to get into like entrepreneurship and own my own business. And so I just thought to myself, like if I'm going to own a business in the future, I may as well start now so i made my very first wig for myself i would wear my wigs people would compliment me they'd also express their need for a wig as well so i was like i could really make money in this now bearing in mind when i first started i had no real niche i was doing everything i was doing a few installs here and there i was making wigs i was styling wigs i was rejuvenating wigs i was doing everything rejuvenating wigs was something that i also enjoyed i just really love a challenge when people brought me their raggedy daggedy Oh we <laughs> listen, best believe we gon we gon we gonna bring that back to life. She gonna be breathing soon. So now at this point I'm at the very initial stages and I found that with every wig order I would go through the five stages of grief. I'd start a wig, I would have this confidence, and then I'd start making the wig. Um I'd go through a stage of frustration because maybe the hair isn't dying the way it should or I'd go through anger if the hair density is not the way I wanted it to be. So what I found is at the end of it, it was never that bad. The, my clients ended up liking their wigs and I ended up learning a new skill. That period of time really taught me resilience. There was a lot of challenges. There was a lot of discouragement. I literally remember finding a journal entry where I was like, my wigs are crap. Like. I remember being in that place where I had no confidence in what I was doing. The fear of failure really paralyzed me to the point where I found it hard to even start like an Instagram page and my friends at uni were like, girl, you need to start a page, but what if I put my work out there and no one likes it or what if I get a horrible comment? When you say yes to the assignment that God has given you, he also brings people who are attached to your yes. That means that if he's called you to create that business, he's also got the clients there for you. If he's called you to start that ministry, he's also got the connections for you. So I feel like in every story, there has to be a turning point. There has to be a place where you make a decision. And for me, I graduated from university and if I'm honest, my business was not necessarily at the front of my mind. So when I finished university, I was like, I'm ready to get into the world of work. I'm ready to get into the corporate world. I'm ready to be a corporate babe. I got the suits, I got everything. And I got my first graduate role in marketing. And you know, the corporate world is, um, is something. That's all I'm gonna say, it's something for sure. Yeah, I only lasted six months. But let me tell you something, it taught me a lot. I learned a lot about sales. Like I was in a different city every week. I was on tour, guys. Like I was really growing. I was meeting all sorts of different people. But I've gone from that to now back at square number one. And I remember talking to my friend when I'd left the job and I felt, I was feeling a bit discouraged because I was like, I've been there for six months and I feel like I don't have anything to show for it. And she was like, don't see it that way you have been able to commit yourself to something, something that is not easy, right? For six months and you've been able to grow in this skill, you've been able to ring your bell, you've been able to do very well in a competitive environment. So what makes you think that if you commit yourself to your own project, to your own business, that you will not succeed if you commit six months to it? And I was like, girl, you have a point. So at this point, I just had to make the decision. At this point, I just had to take the leap and it was hard guys i remember i cried i cried and i cried and i cried what if it doesn't work out what if i don't make any money doing this the one thing that brought me so much fulfillment was the same thing that scared me so so much so i had to take the leap i had to make the decision i officially decided to start working on my business at the start of this year 
I told myself I'm going to occupy this space and I'm going to use it to grow my business and I feel like when you when you make a decision like that you're almost back backed up against the wall and you have to tell yourself either I'm going to make this work or crap's going to hit the fan right and crap can't hit the fan our walls are white I feel like even though I was quite shy at the beginning I think the challenges that I faced and the things I had to go through forced me to have this unrelenting confidence if i'm going to occupy a space i'm going to win i started in this confidence i had i had this inspiration i had this motivation i'm going to be the woman i'm going to show up i'm going to show out let me tell you something i'm seeing my business i'm seeing the potential it has but i'm seeing no sales i'm coming downstairs every day and i've got no clients I remember in January I had one client. I said, okay, I'm gonna create content, I'm gonna put out content, I'm gonna treat my business like I've got 50 clients. What I didn't know was that God was using this quiet season in my life at the very start to help me to start developing my vision, to help me to start developing ideas and my niche. Even my focal point for the business was God given. I remember I was praying upstairs one day when I said to God, I said, Lord, you said in your word that if we ask for wisdom that you will give it to us abundantly without reproach right i need wisdom i don't know what to focus on for this business i am doing everything so i come downstairs in faith y'all you need faith in this life okay and as i'm writing out my consumer journey i feel a prompting to focus on wig rejuvenation and i say lord <laughs> i'll be honest i was not so keen on it but i couldn't shake it i had to just trust god he brought friendships he brought mentor mentors around me that helped me to expand my vision and i think that's a very important prayer you need to pray i was going to events i was researching i was learning all the while my business was making no money one thing i was doing as well as i was speaking life over my business after i did that i then had to get to work as though what i had said had already come to pass it's actually the month of june currently so it's this actually marks six months after posting consistently on Instagram I'm seeing more traction I'm seeing people inquiring I'm going from like making zero sales to making a few sales I'm growing slowly and then one day I decided to start posting on TikTok y'all y'all it was crazy like I had no idea that this was gonna go the way that it was going but it just kind of showed me that you need to take every opportunity. Like I was very stubborn and I was like, I don't want to post on, on TikTok. I've been posting on Instagram, that's what's been working. Not knowing that a whole nother opportunity is there waiting if you decide to adapt and do a little bit of hard work. So now, six months in, I'm seeing an influx of new clients. I'm making regular sales. I just wanted to use this story to encourage somebody because I remember being petrified at the very beginning, not wanting to commit not wanting to put my whole self into it i know there's somebody out there who wants to start a business i know there's someone out there who needs the confidence to to, to make the leap and i want to be your internet cousin almost but i do hope you enjoyed that video i'm going to leave all my business details in the description below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video